He creates a path because he's written so many plays and they are so good. That's just an inspiration to playwrights. I was aware that this playwright had the most remarkable voice that I think I had heard since Tennessee Williams. I, I saw what Lanford could do. That really inspired me. I could, I could do poetry in the theater, but not call it poetry. I had wanted to be in advertising. I wanted to be either a painter or a, uh, an illustrator. So on lunch hours, I was writing stories to think maybe I could get out of that end of the advertising business. And one day I said, that's not a story, that's a play. So I started writing it as a play, and on page two or so, I said, I'm a playwright. He's got a body of work that's not like any other American playwright. Where, I mean, just the range of his ability to empathize with all kinds of different people. I had seen all the plays on Broadway and, and thought they were just dreck. Uh, I don't know where I was coming from, but they were dreck. And I don't know where they were coming from. Uh, I liked one play, but I misunderstood it completely. I sort of identify him, I identify Lanford with Off Off Broadway. Now, I mean, he's not the only person <laughs> who started Off Off Broadway, but he's always had a sense that it doesn't end with an aspiration to Broadway. He uh, wrote Bomb in Gilead which is one of the more ambitious plays I know of in American dramatic literature. And the vitality of the writing is just extraordinary. And that was one of the first important productions here at Steppenwolf. We opened January 16th, 1965 at the Café La Mama with Bomb and Gilead. And Bomb and Gilead was a huge success, huge hit. Lanford had had a great success with uh, The Madness of Lady Bright at the Café Chino. It had run for 250 performances, so I guess, uh, in a way, Lady Bright was the first big hit off-Broadway. I mean, off-off-Broadway. No one was knocking at my door. No one was knocking at Marshall's door or any of our actors. So we got every actor we knew. That included a lot of very famous people, you know, Sam Shepard, Spalding Gray, and every writer, obviously, Sam was in. So we had the meeting and started, started our theater. He's had... Uh, quite a few plays on Broadway, but they started out for Circle Rep. They were written for Circle Rep. And they were written to be done either off-off Broadway or off-Broadway, when Circle Rep became off-Broadway. So we started Circle Repertory Company with this experimental and classical uh, duality. The commercial theater was going to be the beneficiary now of work that was created in the nonprofit theater. I don't think Broadway is a dream anymore. I think, you know, the, the large theater in your town, possibly, it does one original play a year. He believes in the theater. Some do, some don't. He does.